And it is Bone who gets up the first shot. Schofield with an offensive board, and that's how the scoring begins. Guard under Fran Dumphy at Penn. Admiral Schofield goes strong to the basket. Play with is important in this first half. Saw Matt Langle there. He's out of that Fran Dumphy coaching tree as Tennessee adds to their lead. Madness live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness. Missing a close range, Colgate. Their guards can deliver it just like Richardson did that time. Make sure you penetrate. Peruse the D, get inside. But man, the Admiral <laughs> with the nice jump hook. Three point game as we approach the four minute mark. Tennessee with the ball in the lead. Schofield for three. Yes! Big bucket for the Admiral. And he's put 26 on the board. Three point game, one possession, big shot, Schofield. He buries a three. Big time shot maker, Admiral Schofield. Two corner threes. Again, Schofield, one more. Oh, how about it? Admiral Schofield. Arms, the head coach of Tennessee, puts a lot of pressure on his point guard anyway. First shot of the game, Admiral Schofield. And he knocks down a three right on cue. Good way to start. Cincinnati, that was the first game of the day here on Friday. And look at Bo with that speed dribble. The corner three, Schofield is two for two. And that's his sweet spot right there. This game is going to be something else. Both of these teams would be more than comfortable playing in the upper 80s or 90s. On the breakaway, Turner. Contact, no whistle. Team with the ball and a chance to go up 20, maybe more. Schofield with the offensive rebound, and he'll put it back. Oh. Schofield and Grant Williams. Rick Barnes telling us they basically manage that locker room. Here's Schofield for three. He's got another one. That's his third. Admiral Schofield is three for three from behind the arc. Boy, they've had a tough time getting loose. Balance scoring for Tennessee. Turner had it blocked, but the follow by Schofield. 15 points for Admiral Schofield. 15 points. Iowa has just 19 on the board. Schofield with the ball in his hands. On the take. Too easy for him. Open. They don't have the moves to do a one-on-one -on -one move to get their own shot. Schofield, you see he does, though. Tennessee D holds him up. Williams and Schofield on the floor together with three fouls, and it's Schofield trying to calm down this Iowa run. Big shot maker he is. That would be a physical battle. I also said, how can you do a better job defending Edwards? He said, they're not concerned about guarding Edwards. They're going to run him off those triple screens on the baseline. A lot of firepower to get going. Schofield, now he gets free from Eifert, takes on Armstrong, and scores at the rim against 7-3. The strong finish by Harms inside, but... When he has two blocks, this team is undefeated. That's right, Purdue is undefeated. He has two. He's got three now. There's a turnover by Edwards, was looking for Harms. These are big possessions now for Tennessee, trying to fight their way back. That's what he did that time and comes back and rewarded with the steal. Well, Purdue, low turnovers, but they force turnovers. Schofield, big three is down for the Admirals. Schofield going to work. No gel Eastern on. Oh, what a flurry of moves by Admiral Schofield. And back-to-back -back possessions. The Volunteers within seven. With the swipe down on the other end. What's the difference in this half? It's this. That's the first post up. Turner behind the back. Edwards checks him. Here's Bowden now. And Schofield, a long three. You bet! Admiral Schofield has given Tennessee the lead. Look at this, and no, this is not the perfect situation for Tennessee. You can take your time, Schofield has it in his sweet spot. And Admiral Schofield gives it up, Alexander, and he scores on Harms. He's got 19 in the half for the answer. Schofield, yes, sir! Shot-making master class in Louisville. Tennessee needs something right here. Schofield, great pass, and a two-handed flush for Grant Williams. Well, this one coming to the finish line. Schofield will get the last bucket in his illustrious Tennessee career. And the Purdue Boilermakers out of the Big Ten headed to the Elite Eight.